if a man is in a position where he is emotionally entangled with his mother and he focuses on her needs and does what he can to be there for her and he neglects most of his own life and most of his needs then it is unlikely that he feels strong and capable and is a powerful man but he may wear a mask that creates the impression that he is strong and capable and that he has it all together and so assuming that he doesn't wear this mask and that he does come across in this way it will be easy for other people to see this but he might not be aware of this and so this doesn't mean that he won't feel these feelings what it means is that this will just be what is normal and so he won't be able to identify how he feels and as he feels this way it is not going to be possible for him to stand his ground and to assert himself because he will believe deep down that he has no control and he just has to tolerate what is going on and so he will look like a man who has power is capable and has control over his life on the inside he is going to feel like a powerless and helpless boy and when it comes down to why he would be this way it is likely to be due to what took place very early on and the impact that this had on his whole being and so instead of him receiving what he needed to grow and develop into a powerful and strong man most likely his mother used him to meet some of her adult and unmet childhood needs and so very early on he had to hide his needs and to be there for his mother because if he expressed his needs he may have been punished, disapproved of and or abandoned and so holding his needs back, hiding them probably wouldn't have prevented this from taking place but it may have decreased the amount of times that it took place and so as he had to hide his needs and as he didn't receive the nutrients that he needed to grow and develop he won't have been able to go from a boy to a man and so he will still be deep down in this traumatized state because not only won't he have received what he needed but he would have also been deeply traumatized and so now that he is an adult he will still be in this deeply traumatized state and naturally if he feels this way he is not going to have a felt sense of power or self-worth or believes that he has any control over his life so he will be stuck at this point in time and so although he won't have been in a war zone as an adult due to what took place during his early years and the impact this has had on him it will be as though he has just come back from a war zone but unlike someone who has been in a war zone he won't have he won't have PTSD he would have CP TSD and it will be complex post-traumatic stress disorder or it would be better to call it a response CPTSR because what is going on for him will be a response to what he experienced very early on so at a stage of his life when he was powerless and helpless he would have been deeply harmed and it would have been by the people because both is mother and his father would have played a part so it would have been by the people who were supposed to look after him and as it was these people he would have had nowhere to turn and so now that he will have grown into a man it will be like he is in a very deep hole because emotionally he will be very low and he won't be in a good way he will be a fallen man because his early years won't have prepared him to handle life they will have greatly destroyed him and so now that he is a man he will have some serious work to do on himself it won't just be a case of dealing with his negative thoughts and then he will be good to go his nervous system, his brain, his emotional body so so many parts of him are likely to be in a bad way and so it can take years for him to gradually rise up 
like the phoenix from the ashes. So if you're a man and you can relate to this and you are in a very bad way, you are like, or you feel like a fallen man, then please know that you can change your life. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen if you reach out for the right support and keep going. So if you're in a bad way, please don't suffer in silence and reach out for the support that you need to gradually change your life. Because you don't deserve to suffer what took place and wasn't your fault. And now you can do something about it. To find out more about the services that I offer and how I can assist you on your journey, go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk I'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey.